All right, today I want to do a video on the project that they're working on here at the museum of putting this same kind of rubber on the rear. Gary's doing that project. He's right kind of about a little over halfway. Here's one of the pieces of rubber that they're going to be putting on. This is uh, 137 inches long. The circumference of this guy is 141 or 171 inches, which is considerably more. And they put these blocks on here. They're about one one foot one and a quarter long. Here's one of them. Kind of looks like that. At various intervals all the way around there. They button them up end to end and they bolt into these holes that are already in there for the cleats. And they bolted them down where they could, you know, various places. There's one where they had the bolts lined up there. And the next one that has to line up in a different place. And this one's on the outside. So he did, he did it where he could. And he's working on this one now. So that 171 inch circumference on the outside means that there's a gap you'll have two splices what what had happened was they made a piece of steel to go on there to help splice it like remember this one was spliced with the little rivets there's that splice right there with the rivets, that was the front one. Well, this is going to be similar. I mean, this big, huge piece of steel is going to splice two pieces together. They'll have that two pieces of rubber. They'll have to cut one, or one piece of rubber, two pieces of rubber. Yeah, one big long one, and then a short one in the middle. And they made blocks. These blocks were an eighth of an inch shorter. As you see here, so they'll have to cut this steel off right about there, all the way across, and it'll be down in there and then come flush with this block. That happens on both ends here, which is kind of an interesting thing that they thought about. That piece of steel is supposed to go flush down there. And each one of these sections of block. I think the carry said they had eight pieces across. And between each piece, as you see on this one especially, there's a rubber that runs down in there between each section. Like the rubber's got the holes in it. Goes on the dowel that runs all the way through. Dowel runs through to hold the blocks together and they're put on with these bolts that attach it to the steel. And then here's one of those, here's one of the rubber pads. It carries the punch the hole in. It's just a piece of inner tube somewhere, some kind of rubber stock that they got. It was, uh, there's some that are sitting there waiting to be punched. So that'll make this tractor ready for the parade. 
is kind of what it looks like. Almost done over here. Except for cutting the rubber and getting everything on. That'll make that really nice. This rubber is going to go on it, like I said. I don't know where they got this. I'll have to get the name and address of the company that put all this together. All right. Thanks a lot for watching.